Hello everybody, today on the Arduino Uno, we're going to be making the knock lock. Now here's all the materials you will need. A switch, three LEDs, red, green, and yellow, a 10 kilo ohm resistor, three 220 ohm resistors, one mega ohm resistor, a 10 UF capacitor, a servo motor, three male header pins, a piezo, and a few jumper wires. Using jumper wires, connect the negative to ground and the positive to five volts on the Arduino Uno board. Then connect the positive from one side of the breadboard to the other and negative from one side of the breadboard to the other. Then attach the three LEDs to the breadboard in the order of red, green, and then yellow. Remember, the cathode or the short leg should be always at the right side. Then connect the cathode, the shorter leg of the LED, to ground on the breadboard. Then attach the 220 ohm resistor to the longer leg or longer side of the LED. Then using a jumper wire, connect pin number three on the Arduino board to one side of the resistor of the yellow LED. Then using another jumper wire, connect pin number four on the Arduino board to the other leg of the resistor of the green LED. Then using another jumper wire, connect the other leg of the resistor of the red LED to pin number 5 on the Arduino Uno board. Then attach a switch which connects the two sides of the breadboard together. Then using another wire, connect one leg of the switch to pin number 2 on the Arduino Uno board. Then using another jumper wire, connect the other leg of the switch to positive on the breadboard. Then attach the piezo and remember the location of the piezo's legs. Then take a smaller jumper wire and attach it to one leg of the piezo which will connect the two sides of the breadboard together. Then using another jumper wire, connect the end of the smaller wire to A0 on the Arduino board. Then connect the 1 mega ohm resistor vertically from the jumper wire to negative or ground on the breadboard. Then attach one leg of the 10 kilo ohm resistor to the same side of the switch you added the green jumper wire and the other leg to negative or ground on the breadboard. Then connect the shorter leg of the capacitor to negative or ground and the longer leg to five volts or positive. Then take three jumper wires. Connect two of them to the legs of the capacitor. And connect the third jumper wire to pin number nine on the Arduino Uno. Then attach all three jumper wires to an empty spot on the breadboard in the order of black, white, and then red. Then insert the male header pins into the socket on the servo motor. Then attach the servo pin on the breadboard, coordinating with the jumper wires we added before. The order of the wires should be black on the right, white in the middle, and red on the left. Then attach the USB cable from the Arduino Uno to the laptop. 
The code that you will have to type on the laptop will be in the description down below, so use that for reference. Now let's test it out. When the piezo is pressed against a flat, solid surface that can vibrate like a wooden tabletop, your Arduino Uno can sense how intense a knock is. The LEDs give you a status. The red LED indicates the box is locked, the yellow LED indicates the box is unlocked, and the green LED lets you know if a valid knock has been received. This is another use for our project. It can be used to sense small tremors in an earthquake as it senses vibration. I hope you learned something new. Enjoy the rest of the video. Bye!